Hi and welcome to this tutorial video on psychology in the work context. Today we'll be having a look at behaviorism. Please note that the photos and pictures on the side are there to help you remember or memorize the facts and statements in this video. Now let's get started. Now behaviorism was launched by a guy called John Watson or John B. Watson. And behaviorism became known as the first force in psychology. Now there I gave you a picture of Darth Vader using the force and it's just right here it's the first force. Okay Watson advocated an entirely objective psychology aimed at developing general principles of behavior based on control and prediction of overt behavior. Now Watson believed that the subject matter of psychology should be observable behavior. Because according to Watson, only that which is observable can be studied objectively. And I gave you a little picture of someone observing animals in the wild. Now Watson believed that the environment determines behavior. And that humans are merely reactive beings and what they are and become it's determined by causes outside themselves. Watson also believes that behavior can be predetermined by, con by the control of environmental factors. Another interesting thing is Watson made no distinction between animals and human beings. And Watson's method was based on animal psychology. And he believed that, that by studying human beings, or animals behavior objectively meant that it could be described in terms of a stimuli or a response. Now this became known as the stimuli response approach in psychology. John Watson believed that he could train any infant regardless of talent or ability to be a professional. He thought that he could predict consumer behavior by manipulating people's needs, motive and emotions to create incentives to buy products. Now his theory was influential until around about 1930. Now our next person of interest is Ivan Pavlov. Now he was the preceding influence on the behaviorist method. He was a physiologist and he specialized in the animal psychology. Now through his experiments with dogs, Pavlov showed that the behavior could be conditioned it is learned by the stimulus response relation. Let's have a quick look at Pavlov's experiments with dogs. Now Pavlov found that dogs learn to associate food with other stimuli that were presented at the same time, like we see here in the third sketch. This could also happen or things such as light or sound or the footsteps of a person could have the same effect. Now they eventually responded in the same way to these stimuli even in the absence of food, like we see over here in the last sketch. This same response was elicited by the stimuli that the dog had learned to associate food with. Let's have a quick look at our last two influences on behaviorism. Now they are Vladimir Bektorov and John Locke. Now Bektorov influenced Watson. He was a Russian psychiatrist and neurologist and he specialized in animal psychology. He focused on the role of reflexive responses in the mental functioning. Or in other words, objective psychology is based on the principle that all behavior can be explained by the objective studying of reflexes. Now John Locke was a British philosopher notion that association of stimuli or events is the basis processes stems from John Locke. He described the human psyche as tabula rasa or blank slate on which associations are imprinted through sensory experience. experience. These associations combine to form larger units that comprise the content of the mind. Mm -hmm. 